Hi all, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys like part two of the video and this is going to be weight painting uh, our uh, mesh, our clothes to our con model. And weight painting basically means when we start pose mode, you see currently it doesn't follow our uh, arm at all, our armature. The mesh does not. We want to make it follow it. So uh, the way to make this happen is we're going to do something called weight painting, which assigns, uh, determines how, how what, what mesh uh, which, which vertices in the mesh follow what bones to make it follow our armature. Before I begin, I'm just going to quickly uh, make a quick change, which is going to be changing this material because you'll notice it's in a different language. So I'm going to go to cats and click this button to translate. And then it, it has some weird properties because it's uh, MMD shader dev and that will cause problems. So I'm just going to hit the minus, hit the plus and create a new material. Let's make that gray. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Let's get started. Um, so yeah, weight painting. There is kind of uh, three main ways to kind of go about weight painting. Um, and two of them are, um, you'll see a lot of videos on and they're pretty popular for VR chat models. And then one of them is the one that I, I use, which is also kind of popular, but uh, it just works better for con models. So the first two model, the first um, common weight paint method you'll see is going to be to use the original uh, weight paint that comes with your uh, hoodie mesh, and then use that and kind of just line up the bones. Um, and this was a lot of a lot of people use, especially if they're just going directly from the model to Unity, um, and they want to toggle toggle outfits and stuff. Uh, however, that's really not going to work for us because. The con model, we need to modify and sculpt and edit the mesh so much that by the time we're done with that, it's the white paint on the original mesh is pretty much useless. Um, the second popular one, and I think it's probably the most popular for VR chat, is actually going to be copying the the weight paint data from the skin to uh, our hoodie, and that means like if our uh, you know it will basically say, oh, this skin this skin right here is closest to this vertice on your hoodie. Therefore, uh, if this this vertice here is a weight paint of one, so it follows this bone, then this will follow this bone. So that like, it works great if you're using like skin tight, skin tight uh, clothes for your VRChat model. So if you're making like uh, a bikini or something like that, it's gonna work great. But for con model, it works really, really badly. Um, it's it just does not work at all. <laughs> so the best way is going to be to use Blender's auto awesome built-in automatic weight paint feature. Um, and then we're gonna manually adjust it after. So normally how you do automatic weight painting is you just click your, uh, uh, let me see, is it that? Oh yeah, okay, so you select your, your mesh and then select your armature, control P, and then click with automatic weights. But don't do this, don't do this. Um, because if we do that, then you'll notice these bones get automatically uh, painted and you know, you'll notice that these bones, you know, start controlling the hoodie a little bit, but we don't want our hair bones to be controlling our model at all. We only want, you know, the crucial, the crucial bones. So to do this, we're going to start pose mode and we're just going to basically select the bones we do want to control our hoodie. So you'll see I'm selecting all the big, big bones here. Uh, the shoulders, the f upper and lower arm, our wrists. Uh, I don't want our hands, <coughs> our fingers. Um, and then, you know, hips, upper, lower chest, and feet. And in this particular case, I'm also going to add our neck and our head because we have a hoodie. And I want our hoodie to um, move as we move our head. Um, okay, so that's looking good. I'm going to go to object mode. I'm going to select our armature, shift click, select our mesh, then go to weight paint. I'm also going to go to material preview. Yeah, material preview. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, material preview just um, to see this. Now I'm going to go to weights, assign automatic weight weights from bones. Awesome. Now I'm going to make sure before you do anything this is like crucial 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 go to options and auto normalize okay that is like very crucial and what this does is when you adjust the weight of this so say we want to adjust the weight of our wrists 
if I set this to a higher weight, then it will automatically subtract it from here. Just trust me on this, you'll run into lots of problem problems otherwise. So uh, let's stop post mode and start post mode and just kind of see how our model is looking. So we notice there's an error here where it didn't, it didn't uh, I guess, calculate this vertice here, um, at least for the bone we want. Uh, you'll see these bones are actually affecting our hoodie, which we do not want. Uh, we just want the head bones, but and that's just how it works. It's kind of like the nearest vertices it will affect. It's like looking pretty good overall. And the one thing I really like about automatic weight painting is it actually works very well for, uh, okay, we got to fix that too. It's very bad. It works really well for like um, the lower part of the con model. So if I adjust these legs, it looks really nice. It looks like perfect. Um, and that's something that's really tricky to get because of the low weights if you're doing it manually or via like a copy vertice method or something. So uh, let's click our armature, shift click our mesh, weight paint, and now we're just going to shift click our bones and adjust the weight paint. So um, I'm going to adjust my material, make it a little brighter so it's easier to see. Yep, okay. <clears throat> so to do this, you shift click and you sh hold shift and click on the bone you want to edit. Remember to make sure you have normalize on. I'm just going to remind you again. And then you can adjust your strength, radius, and, and weight. Um, and so how weight works is if you have a weight of zero, it's blue. And if it's a weight of one, it's going to be red. And if it's a weight of one, it will f uh, the vertices that are uh, completely red will follow this bone 100%. So if I move this, it's going to stick with this bone all the way. Uh, meanwhile, with the, the blue, uh, it basically means you know if I move this bone, these vertices aren't going anywhere which is what we want because we want them to follow this bone instead. Um, and then obviously the green here, it's like a blend. So it's like 0.5. So it's going to follow this vertice, or this bone 0.5 and this bone 0.5. What this allows it to do is uh, make a really nice a smooth bend and not like a really sharp bend, which we, which we want. So if we go down here, you'll notice there's a lot of like very lightweight painting, which it automatically does, which is awesome, which makes it look really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start start off fixing stuff. So the first thing I noticed was our, our wrists are very um, badly weight painted. So to fix this, I shift clicked our wrist and then I'm going to set weight and strength to one because I want it to follow strongly and we'll smooth it out later. And then I'm just going to basically use my mouse to kind of paint this area where I want my wrist to follow pretty red. All right, cool. Now I'm going to copy it on this side. So uh, you can mirror actually when doing this if you use these tools. But with weight painting, I actually don't like this this feature just because um, you know typically your model is not perfectly symmetrical, uh, and so you want to kind of just do it manually. I think. Um, and I would say with weight painting, you don't really want to overdo it uh, because the automatic is pretty darn good by itself. Okay, next up we're going to adjust our hoodie um, because our hoodie was following these bones you see right there, which we do not want. Instead, we want it following uh, this head bone. So I'm going to select that head bone and kind of just go ham on it. Uh, and this we have to be kind of careful because we don't want to actually weight paint our, you know, our shoulders here. So yeah, you just got to be kind of careful. And because we have the auto normalize, when we paint here, it's going to subtract it from here. So instead of trying to remove it, I like to just add and then have it automatically uh, subtract. Okay, so that I messed up there. I didn't want to get the shoulder. Uh, I'm going to kind of move in here. And you just got to be nice and careful. I'm going to give that a shot and then see how it's doing before I do any more crazy changes. Um, this also this hoodie model is also pretty, pretty bad, uh, as in the geometry is very, um, very janky, I guess. But yeah, there we go. That's like kind of a maybe decent 
uh, hoodie. And I'll show you actually how it looks now. So I'm going to stop post mode and start post mode. It's a good thing to test very frequently. So you can see now our shoulder doesn't affect our hoodie as much. Let's see how this one works. That's that's actually pretty good. Um, can use the rotate. It's pretty good. I'm going to try to make it not affected as much there. Okay, we're looking pretty good. But you'll notice our, our wrist is way too sharp. So if we twist that, uh, I mean, the default con model, the wrist is very sharp, but it, I don't, it doesn't look good. So I'm going to try to adjust that. Smooth that out. And then I would say everything else is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we could make it affect this a little more. But, you know, that's a really nice twist. Wow, it's looking really nice. Let me try that. The head. See how that rotates our hoodie. Oh, gosh. That was too much. Yeah. Looking pretty darn snazzy, if you ask me. Yeah. Con agrees. Okay. Cool. Stop pose mode. So the one thing I'm going to change is uh, armature, shift click there, white paint. Uh, I actually kind of like it how it, it does adjust our hoodie a little bit. But let's try to make it adjust a little less. So I'm going to bring down my radius a little bit. Uh, just try to hit the vertices. It's a little tricky because I did notice here there's very few vertices, right? So we we kind of can't go like, yeah, we can't really do too much here because there's no in-between vertices. Um, so we could affect that one, but I don't want to do that. I think it looks good kind of blended here. It's just kind of go around here yeah it's tricky because there's there we go okay um what else did i want to change i wanted to change our shoulder bones looked pretty good um our wrists our wrists were bad so we did notice we did weight paint them um however it's too sharp here so to do this we're actually going to use the Blur tool or smear tool? We're going to use the blur tool. Um, actually, both work. Um, okay, but let's just bring down the strength of the blur tool. And this kind of just like evens out the weights um, for our, our, our mesh here. So you can kind of see we're kind of blurring it a little bit. I'm just going to go around blurring this so it's more of a gradient. You see how it's like uh, only red at the ends and then it kind of fades to blue, yellow to blue. Same vice versa here. Uh, I'm going to try it here. That might have been a little too much blur. Yeah, you can see it's a very obvious, very big difference here comparing. Um, this like is super sharp. Uh, I'm going to kind of try to go here, blur this a little bit. Blur this line. All right. And then one thing I also do want to show you, just it's not actually really necessary here, but I'm going to sharpen up this. Uh, well, I might sharpen up this a tiny bit. This is just to show you guys that you can weight paint. So if I were to weight paint this, uh, control Z, if I were to go here and weight paint that, it's going to look very bad because it's we only want to get very little weight paint here with a very low weight. So I'm going to crank down my weight to like 0.1 and my strength to 0.2. And I'm going to make my radius a little bigger and kind of just go around. Actually, I'm going to crank it a little higher because that was actually lower than the weight here, which I don't want. But yeah, you can see I can kind of just go around weight painting this. And so you can get some like, if you want to be very precise, and kind of uh, adjust your your weight paint a little bit, you can do that. So yeah, let's try stop and start pose mode. Um, and that what that did was it kind of just tightened up the stomach a little bit. So you can see it kind of creases there. Um, what I actually, I want to tighten it up a little bit so we don't clip there. So to do this, I'm going to go back to object mode and this is a cool a cool trick right so if you want to 
if you're having problems when you bend your arm a certain way and then uh for th and then for example it like you don't want it to clip there so say i want to move my leg there and not have it not have it clip so say i'm sitting down and i have this issue where it's clipping there and i want to change this so the way it would be to pose mode and then put it in that position then go to object mode select our armature shift click our um, mesh go to weight paint and now we can actually adjust our weight paint and just see, like directly see how it affects our uh, our model so let me just I can like weight paint this a little stronger right and then maybe weight paint our our hip here maybe a little stronger Mm. No, that looks good. I mean, like, typically people aren't really going to be maybe sitting like that. I mean, this is stuff where it's just, like, a little more tricky um, to kind of deal with. Um, because you want to get, like, a good blend. And you know what? Like, typically I'm just going to probably leave it. I mean, it's, it's kind of okay. Uh... Let me just change this to one. Yeah, I mean, that's probably fine. Um, let's check out our, enter, check out our wrists, see if that was, yeah, much better, much better. Let's check out this one. And you'll probably have to bring it, uh, re-export again because, you know, sometimes there's stuff in, in and that you don't notice when, when you're in Blender, that you do notice when you're like physically moving your body in game, especially with full body tracking and stuff. But uh, you know, I would say take the time to try to see if you can catch a lot of these errors to, while you're in Blender. So you know, take the time to kind of rotate. You know, rotate this bone, this bone. Let me. Tighten it up here a little bit. Weight paint. Yeah, so you can see I'm just like adjusting it a little bit so it doesn't clip as much. Yeah, so I think that's looking pretty good. Um, so I guess, yeah, that's kind of it for weight painting. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I guess that's. Yeah, I mean, you're really just good good to export besides, um, let me just see. So the, I'm going to remove my address here and make a copy. Delete our address. Um, trying to think if I want the tail. Mm, I'm going to decide on that in a little bit. But yeah, you're done with weight painting, and you can, uh, yeah, you can basically just export your model via cats, and you're all set. Thanks for watching.